Welcome to Queenstown, guys. Look at this. Do you, do you see this? I know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the video does not capture how good this looks right now, but I just thought I'd take a moment and just talk about what it's like coming to New, to New Zealand and coming to Queenstown specifically. You guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this place. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of the cool places that you can visit, whether it's with kids or with a romantic partner or with some girlfriends. Just so many fun things to do here and experiences and like everywhere that I've been and everywhere that I've experienced has just been, wow, like it's gonna be hard to leave. Welcome to Queenstown. Look at this view. Look at the beautiful colors. Look at the lake. And I got the key to the suite at the stay at Queenstown. And it's amazing. Let's go check it out. Oh, look at the fireplace. Look at this kitchen. Oh my gosh. Oh, a private note. Ooh, wine, yes! Look at these goodies. Look at everything you need. Ooh, fridge that has food in it. Wow, fresh eggs. I think I'm gonna like it here. This is great. Okay. Bathrobes, yes. That's what I'll be living in. Look at this beautiful bathroom. Oh my goodness, let's go check out the bedroom. Oh, the view. What? Oh my goodness, the mountain range. I think that's the remarkable. I'm not sure. Oh yes, oh yes. Yes. <laughs> this is so, look at how cute this is. This is like the perfect female treat getaway. Like, <laughs> I'm going to take my friend. Okay, I just need to talk about some of these special touches that you get at the stay of Queenstown. It's called this lavender eye pillow, and like you heat it up and you put it over your eye, and it smells amazing. And I have fresh flowers and a diffuser right next to my bed. Look at over here, you got to see this. <laughs> like, look at these little bag. It's called a shoe bag. A shoe bag. I don't think you put your shoes in it. I think they're giving you. Look at this. Not only do we have robe, we have slippers. Oh yeah. You guys have got to check out the stay of Queenstown. Well, I'm here with Ingrid from, is it stay of? Stay, stay of Queenstown. Stay of Queenstown. I just don't want to say it wrong. Stay of Queenstown. And she owns this beautiful place that I have been staying at that I love. And so I just want to take a moment to talk to her about, you know, um, you know, what was your vision for this place? And tell us your story and how did this get started? We've had this place, well, the place is the sections for over 30 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I, I was a business owner in Wellington and I sold that with the intention oh. of coming down and having a nice lifestyle, creating beautiful accommodation, like oh. a home away from home. Let me tell you. So I, I stayed I, one night so far and I love it. <laughs> It is like I, I'm, I'm working here, so I'm like working during the day, and it's just like you don't even want to leave. So, and then what are like when people stay here, like what are your customers saying? Are they saying like why is it that they like here? What are some of the comments that you're getting? The comments are always that it's um, that we've thought of everything in the style and design, but also that it's better than they saw on the internet. Because I think once when you when you park your car, so every suite comes with a, a, a free car park for the. Oh, that's nice in Queenstown. Yeah. <laughs> and so you park your car and then straight away you're met with the beautiful mountain and the lake views. So all of our suites have the mountain and lake yes, views. The views. And yes, so the yeah, views. that's what that's what takes everyone in. So much so that quite often people, you know, they like a hotel to sleep at or a motel to right. sleep in, but they're quite happy to stay around here for longer. Because yes. they sit on the balcony, take in the view. If it's winter and there's a storm rolling in, they'll watch the snow and the snowstorm. Yes. Summer, they're just, yeah, they're taking just the sunset. Yeah, yeah it's so that, that's so what nice. the clients say. You can come here and unwind. 
Oh you can come God. here for your girlfriends. You can come here and play golf. Yeah, well, thanks, Ingrid, for sharing your story no and a little bit it's about right this place. Yeah. And, oh, you're I'm welcome. coming back, girl. You're going to be seeing a lot of this face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. All right, we're going on the jet boat today. It's going to be great. I'm not driving. I don't think I would go that fast if I was driving, <laughs> but it's gonna be great. I have to say that I'm a little bit nervous about it. I don't really like going on super fast things, but I've always wanted to try it because it's so beautiful. And I happen to have chosen a beautiful day to do this. So it's gonna be exciting. Let's go check it out. All right, here we go. <laughs> So the riverbed itself is loaded with uh, alluvial flake gold. So for example, after New Zealand's lockdown, you know, the big lockdown last year, a person found a nugget worth about 70,000 just up the corner wow. with a metal detector. So wow. the point is, if you fall out, you might as well have a look. Yeah, yeah. Have a look. just getting off the jet boat tour pretty wet oh my gosh you guys my words are these only in New Zealand I'm just trying to imagine something like that being happening in the US I don't know I don't think it, <laughs> there's no seat belts you're just unbelievably fast on a boat through a canyon it was awesome you guys if you've never tried this you have to try this it's like nothing I've ever done Oh my gosh. Okay, for some nightlife in Queenstown, you must make a stop at the minus five degree ice bar. It is so much fun. No matter who you're with, you're gonna have a great time. Everything in the whole bar is ice. Everything you sit on, everything that you touch. Now it looks like it's really cold, but they do dress you appropriately, so it wasn't too bad. And it is so much fun. As you can see, we had a blast at the ice bar. Okay, it's time for some yoga. Healthy Self Yoga is an amazing place. Whether you've just skied all day or you've been mountain biking or whatever crazy fun activity you've been doing in Queenstown, you need to stretch. And the Healthy Self Yoga is the place for you. It is welcoming of every type of person. Everybody is a yoga body is their slogan. I am here with Sean and James and we are at Healthy Self Yoga. And I just did this amazing class with them and I'm so relaxed so sorry if I'm talking slowly <laughs> and this is just a really great studio for um, coming if you need a stretch after skiing or after mountain biking or any of the other crazy activities you can do in Queenstown but I thought I'd take a moment to talk with these guys and they can share a little bit about their story and about their place and and their vision for it we've been open here for about a year and a half now is that right Sean? year yeah. and a half yeah. wow okay and um, yeah, we've, we've started, we, we wanted to have a place where everybody could come and be welcome. Everyone's got lots of things that they're on adventure here for, so a place that you can come and relax and, and stretch out, or if you're looking for something active or engaging, so something that's nice and more rounded if you're looking for it, and we've got it here for you. <laughs> so when we uh, were first deciding to bring something to Queenstown, we thought um, something was missing in the uh, sort of wellness space and we wanted to bring something that was all inclusive uh, to everyone uh, in this community. It is such a beautiful community and we just wanted to put out there that you can come and do yoga, it doesn't matter who you are or what size you are or, or, or you know, you don't have to do the, if you can't, if you don't think you can do the postures or if you're a beginner, um, you can come along and um, all our classes are beginner friendly 
um, to start your, your practice on your wellness journey. Yes, and if you check out their website, it's very clear about that. And that's definitely the feeling when you come in because I've been to a couple of yoga studios and it's just, you know, you feel like everybody's doing the same thing and like maybe you're the new person, but you don't get that feeling here. Like everybody's welcome. Being all inclusive, that was the um, basis for our motto, which is everybody is a yoga body. And we had that translated into te reo, so that's a big part of um, who we are, Māori and non-Māori, and um, obviously we're in Aotearoa, so it translated to he tinana tohokai i a tinana, and we thought that was a great story because um, there's no Māori word for yoga, however tohokai means to spread your limbs and glide along, which was a beautiful story, which is why that is our motto. Another great place to take the whole family on an adventure is the iFly. Yes, it's the indoor skydiving facility and is so much fun. The little perspective of that, the terminal velocity of the skydive is about 190k. So we can generate more power uh, than what you have with gravity pulling you down. Uh, hurricane wind really? Speeds. Yeah, and a hurricane wind speeds are about 113 kilometers an hour. So we would basically double that. So it's like flying into a hurricane. Oh, we're going to fly into the hurricane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exciting, especially when you tell kids, they go, whoa, that is really scary, really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, we just got out of the iFly. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Like I would not really consider skydiving, but after that, I actually might. Like you can actually get the real feel for what it feels like. And if you can do it, and if you would even enjoy it, it's fantastic. And then they like take you up and it's so great. You guys, this is great for families. It's, you know, great for anybody that just wants to try before they even go skydiving or seeing if they would like it. And it's really great. I highly recommend it. Okay guys, today we're heading out on an e-bike tour of the wineries in Gibson Valley. And so we have a tour company called Going Blue picking us up from our hotel taking us to Arrowtown, and then we will ride our e-bikes down to Gibson Valley and do some uh, wineries. So it's about four hours total, so two hours riding your bike around and then two hours <laughs> enjoying the wineries. And then when you're done, you just text them and they pick you up from where you're at and bring you back. It's an amazing service and I'm so excited about this because it's gonna be my first time on an e-bike and I have been dying to try them. Here we go. Um, so these are 2021 uh, Giant Talons, uh, they're about $4,000 each. I've never been on an e-bike before, I've been dying to try it, and so I'm so excited about this, especially, you know, biking around the wineries. <laughs> Sounds great, and Arrowtown looks like this beautiful town. The Going Glue e-bike experience was amazing. Their bikes are so high quality, it makes me want to get an e-bike. The Odyssey Sensory Maze is so much fun. It's basically all these different rooms that you walk through and you have different sensory experiences. And some I thought, hmm, not sure if I want to do this, but it was so great. So just jump in, have some fun with the whole family, and enjoy this maze. You are not going to want to miss this spot when you're in Queenstown. Okay, when in Queenstown, you must make a stop at the Onsen Hot Pools. It's these great private hot pools with amazing views. You are not going to want to miss this spot. <laughs> so great. Oh my gosh. The Hilton Resort and Spa is a cool hotel that's built on the side of a mountain and has so many great amenities. It has a pool, it has a workout room, it has saunas, and it has a world-class spa. 
The rooms are beautiful. The views are beautiful. You can take a water taxi over to the city for only $5 if you're a guest. And let's talk about the food. The food is fabulous, especially the big breakfast that they serve every morning. And let me tell you, the scrambled eggs were the best I've ever had. When you're in Queenstown, you must try Ferg Burger. It's a famous burger joint for both locals and visitors. Lots of great things on the menu. And as an American, you gotta have a burger. Thanks for watching this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video on Queenstown. I absolutely loved my week here in Queenstown and I'm about to leave. And so I thought I'd take some time to reflect on my week and just, I love it here guys. And just so you know, this is my third time being here and I've done all different things I've never done before each time. And I still have plenty to do here that I haven't done. So don't think that you can conquer this small town in a week because there is so much to do and definitely something for everyone. Now definitely check out some of the places I highlighted here because they're really great. And I've put little links below in the description that gives you guys discounts if you book through those links. So definitely check that out or use those coupon codes uh, when you head down to Queenstown. And it's just amazing here. You know, last year was a hard, rough year. And I have been so impressed with how the businesses here have adjusted and pivoted and, you know, really, um, provided new services to their customers and the customers are more clear about what they're willing to buy and to do. And so everybody's kind of adjusted and I think it's great. I think it's great for the customer. I think it's great for the business owner. And I just think that everybody's getting closer together on what it is that they actually would like uh, to see. And so it's, it's great. So I'm very impressed with the businesses down here, but definitely, you know, buy locally if you're in Queenstown uh, and then, you know, check out all the cool things they have in Queenstown because I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed with this town. See you next week.